Hey guys, what is up? PI Podcast here. Me and Ian, we're doing something different. We are ranking every single NFL team from S tier to D tier. D being the worst, S being the best. So Ian, wow. What do you think of this? Where, 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 where are we starting at? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just start in order. We'll go from the Titans and we'll work right. our way down. Well, I think the um, Titans are an A team. I think they're a D team. I think they're terrible. I think they're one. <laughs> you think they're horrible? Just kidding. No, A tier. A tier is okay. fair. I'm going A. Dolphins, I think. Uh... I think they're going to be an A tier this team this year. Okay, I think they're a B tier. Put them at B. That's fair. But yeah, it would because they still don't have a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Oh damn! Just some disrespect to it. Like just that. throwing them out there right now. The Browns with Deshaun Watson. I think you got to give him an A. Oh, okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, going strong. I don't think they're S tier. I don't. Think I may S-tier. have put them at B just because I'm unsure, but I'm fine with A. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars, I think they're not D, I think they're C. Which think they're the C. amount of That's depth, fair. their uh, amount of signings and stuff they had this year. The Lions. Yeah. I'm a Jaguars fan, and I'm still saying C, but I think they could, they might play at a B level, but I think they're going to be a C until, like, they have to prove me wrong. Mm-hmm, same. Um, the Detroit Lions. The Lions, to me, are a D tier. They just have a ton of needs. Yeah, I think they don't really have any defensive help. I could see them being a C team this year, but they just don't have any help on defense. And Jared Goff it can play well. He just needs an offensive line as well. Um, the Vikings. Vikings, to me, are a B. I want to put the Vikings in a B team, but they really haven't proven themselves, so I could see them as C. But I see them above the Jaguars, so I'm going to go. I'm, That's I'm my thing. I think they're. Be. I think they're better than the Jaguars. I think, regardless, their offense still has Kirk Cousins, who's above average. I know a lot of people hate on Kirk Cousins, but he's not that bad. They still got Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen. Um, so I'm putting them at B. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Kirk Cousins is above average, and their weapons are really good. Their defense is decent. Um, it's crazy. Um. Oh, and now the Bucks. I think they're S tier. I think just with Tom Brady coming back makes them S tier. So okay, we'll S-tier. give them S tier. Yeah, we might drop them down to A tier depending on who else we have in S tier, though. Yeah. Ooh, the San Francisco. Because you you can you can only have two two teams in S tier, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. 49ers, I think, are an A tier. Okay. I, I think they're an A tier just because of their quarterback situation. Otherwise, they'd yeah, be S tier. Yeah, they would be S tier if they had a legit threat at quarterback. Like, we don't even know who's going to be the starting quarterback next year. The Falcons. I want to say C, but I could also say B just because. We we did get some decent signings, and with our pick and the draft, I think we're going to get a really good defense player. Um, so it, it's all depending on how Marcus Mariota plays. I'm C or B. I I'm fine. Yeah, either. I have to go C. But if they had Matt Ryan, still I would put, put him at a B. Uh, I have to go with a C. But they're better than the Jaguars, so I would put them at the front of the C list. Yeah. So definitely, I agree with the C. I just I don't know how Marcus Mario is gonna play. Otherwise, I'll put them in the B tier. Um, the Baltimore Ravens. I think oh, I think they're a B team just because their that's defense fair. lost so many pieces, and they're 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 not they're not as good defensive. They're not gonna be as good defensively this year. Yeah, I I agree with B. I don't think they're better than the Browns. I. Th- Think they're better? What do you think? The Vikings or the Ravens? I put the Vikings because of their coach. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The Chicago Bears. I really think Justin Fields is going to improve, and they still have a really good defense, even though they lost Khalil Mack. So I'd say I'd say 
I'd say B, but I could see him at C as well just because of uh, how if Justin Field doesn't play well. I would put them high C then. Yeah, I'd say high C. Uh, um, there we go. All right, the Cincinnati Bengals. A oh, I no, want to put them S. Ooh. You want to put them S? I want to put them A, but like, I think they're the A. Biggest, I don't think they're S. I don't think they're their S biggest still. knock was they didn't have an offensive line, and they have a completely new offensive line now. True, true. I just don't know if that. Uh, the only thing I worry about at putting my S tier is that defensive is gonna play decent. Uh, they're gonna play as well as it did. That's the only concern I have. Let's put them high A then. Yeah, I like put them above there... the Browns and Titans. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I think hmm, I I might take the San Francisco over the Browns just because of their defense. It's fair. But, yeah, you can put the. I would put the San. I would put San Francisco above. The I Titans. put Titans too. Yeah, good point. Um. Yeah, I think we got to sit there. All right, the Dallas Cowboys. I think they're an A tier all the way. Um, I think they're an A tier. I don't think they're. I, I would put them above the Browns. I'll put them above actually. the Browns and Titans, actually. Yeah, I would put them up there. Yeah. I think coaching is their biggest downfall. Yeah, same. Mike McCarthy's not great. Um, but who knows? We'll see this year. They were, dude, they had. They had a uh, 10 plus interception cornerback, they had plus 10 sack. Uh, Mike Parsons, and then they had a receiver that went over for uh one thousand fifteen hundred 1500 yards, and they still had couldn't three receivers that went over a thousand yards this year, yeah. And they still couldn't win their first playoff game, which goes to say something. So mm-hmm. we'll see. Um, I think the Texans are a D, yeah. They're, I think they're the worst team in the league. Same, I, I totally agree with you. Um, the Indianapolis Colts with them Matt Ryan signing, I wouldn't be surprised if they're at high A. I wouldn't be. Surprised. I could see them. I could see them above the Titans. I don't know if I would put them over the Cowboys because of how good the Cowboys' defense is. Uh, I honestly think the Colts' defense can be as good as the Cowboys. So this is really a toss-up. I'm gonna put them behind the Cowboys for now, but definitely I can look at that. Yeah, we can look Cowboys. at it. Except in a wide receiver position, that's probably why it a good idea to put them. Yeah, the Cowboys, the Cowboys, yeah. And not only that, like granted, the the Colts have the best running back in the league. Yeah, but Cowboys have the best one two punch in the league. Debatable. I mean, you could say the Browns with Kareem Hunt and Chubb, but Tony Pollard and Zeke. Yeah, and it's I, a but really solid backfield. The only thing is Zeke. I don't think he play has been playing way too too well. So that's the only. Yeah, thing. he's on, he's on the downside of his career. Yeah, um, the Los Angeles Rams. I think we got to put them in A tier, uh, S tier. S tier, yeah. We might have to put them in S tier. Um, the Los Angeles Chargers. Just because I, I B, I think it's because of their defense, but they did add those pieces, so I'd put them in A. Okay, I was gonna say they're A tier for me. I think they're A. I think they're above the Browns and Titans. Uh, Browns and Titans are really far behind because Titans defense is okay. It's not great. Like yeah. the Colts and the Cowboys and now the Chargers, I think are going to have a really good defense. Um, the Titans big thing is their, their offense is 100% on Derrick Henry. If he's not healthy, their offense is still okay, but like it's built around Derrick Henry. Yeah. It literally is, and that's literally what you can say about this team, how they succeed and how they fall. Um, Even though they had Derrick Henry in the playoffs, it's because of all Ryan Tannehill. So that's why it's hard for me to put them at A. They are an A team because they're really good, especially with Mike Frable coaching them. But, yeah, that's why they're low A. Um, The Kansas City Chiefs, I think they're A, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're better than Chargers because of their defense. Okay, good. Because I was gonna say, you can't put the Chiefs over the Bengals. There's no way you no. can do that. No. The Bengals beat them twice last year. Once in the playoffs, once in the regular season. The 49ers are um, way too good, even if they don't have a quarterback. So I'm not gonna... only that, with with the Chiefs losing Tyran Matthew and Tyree Kill, mm-hmm. 
not really getting anybody to replace them. I mean, granted, Juju's not a bad signing, but he doesn't replace Tyreek Hill. Mm -hmm. Sin Reed does not replace Tyron Matthew. And they lost Daniel Sorensen, too, so that was another yeah. safety that was playing really well for them. The New Orleans Saints. I'm going to put them... I, I think I don't, B's but, fair. I, I want to put B, but I don't believe in them as much, so I'm going to put them low B. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think, yeah, that's gonna be um, that's gonna be the team to watch. I mean, the they, Saints they have a good coach. Oh wait, no, I forgot. Yeah, no, they I forgot. They, yeah, I forgot about that. They were kind of the sleeper team when Sean Payton. Dang. Okay. Yeah. No, I I think low B is really good. Yeah. I think you could also argue high C. Yeah, I could. That's what I was thinking. Um, because I just think. I just think I don't know. I, I I think Falcons are better than Saints, regardless. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. The New York Giants. Oh. I think they're high D or. I don't know those. if they're better than the Lions, honestly. I think they're better than the Lions. I think um they have a better coach than. The, well, I don't know. That's hard because Brian DeBole with the Bills looked really good. Yeah. The problem is, like, Daniel Jones, who knows if he's going to be the guy under his system. They still do have the weapons. So I think they're, like, tied with the Jaguars a little bit. Just that's the only reasoning behind it because Kadarius Tony is really good. Um, and he's are just going to improve. And then some of the defense pieces, some of their defense pieces um, are really, I really good and they can play. Like I, like I said, I'm, I'm cool with low C, high D. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with that. Maybe a little too high in C rating, but hey, we'll, we'll, we're gonna look at it was... after. So, yeah. Uh, the Eagles. I th the Eagles. I think they're B tier, but they're not above yeah. the Ravens. Yeah. I think they're right there in the middle. That's fair. The pack yeah, them. I'm cool with them being in the middle of the pack. The Steelers with Trubisky. I, I know. E. I know. Some people are gonna say. Oh, the Eagles made the playoffs last year. They're in the easiest division in football. Yeah. That's all we got to talk about. Next, next one is the Steelers. Look at our opponents: New York and Washington. Twice a year, yeah. I mean, that's literally the worst division in football, or, or well, was the worst division in football. Um, Steelers. I think they're low B with that's their fair. defense. Um, I, I would think, put them over. I'll the put Saints. them over the Saints too. Exactly, because their defense is better than the Saints' defense, and their pass and they have some good. They've got. I mean, we don't know what Michael Thomas is going to be like when he comes back, but um, Steelers' Najee Harris is only going to get better. Uh, Claypool, uh, Deontay Johnson, going to be solid receivers for Mitchell Trubisky. Just Pat Fryermuth was a really good tight end as a rookie. Yeah. And that's yeah, Pat Fryermuth was a really good pick for, for them and Najee Harris too. They got literally good, really good, really good players with last year's draft. And I think that just Broncos. even honestly, I would might put them over the Eagles. Honestly, that's fair because maybe. their defense is really good. Their yeah. defense can be top top in the league, so like that's fair. And I think Najee can kind of like is a better running back than um than Ma than Miles Sanders, so. I'm cool with moving or them up can one. be. Miles Sanders is really good still, though. I don't think they're better than the Ravens at the no. moment. No, no, definitely not. If they had a quarterback, yeah, I'd be putting them in A tier. But I mean, Trubisky might do well, but he could flop. So yeah, that gives me bring the question: Did we rank the Dolphins way too high? Uh, no. With Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, and all the defensive pieces they have, yeah. It just makes me think. Their defense is really good, too. I think the Dolphins' offense is going to be better than the Steelers, so I think they're fairly rated. Okay. Um, the Denver Broncos. I think they are A tier. And just because of their defense, I really love their defense. I think they're above the Chiefs and Chargers. That's fair. That's, that's where I'm going to put them. Um, so I, I really think they're, they have the best defense in the division. Granted, uh, they just Raiders and Chargers got some defensive pieces, um, and like I think Russell Wilson's going to do amazing in Denver, and I think he's going to play high at a high level, probably be the number one seed or even number two, uh, not number one seed. I mean, first in division or second in division. 
Next, we have the Green Bay Packers. Whoa. I think it, they have to go an A tier, but low A because of Aaron Rodgers. But yes, low A. I think they're below the. I think they're below the Browns. Yeah. And honestly, because of Brian Tannehill or Sean Watson, I think at this point I'm taking Sean Watson. Um, yeah, that's fair too. Yeah. Uh, Carolina Panthers, Packers, or Titans. I didn't know. I said I would take Titans because Panthers. Oh, that's mm, they have a decent defense. I think I put them. Ooh, I put them in the middle over here. I'm thinking middle over here. Yeah, I could see. You. I would put them over the Jags, maybe. Maybe, yeah. It's either here. Their, or here. their big thing is the QB situation. If they had a QB, they could definitely be a B team. Yeah. Oof. I would take their defense no. over the Giants. I'd yeah. take some of their offensive weapons over the Giants. Yeah, I'm gonna put them right there in the middle. Um, the Las Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, no, I think they're eight tier, and they're better than the Packers. They're better than the Titans. I think they're a little better than the Browns and Chiefs. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm either. I think they're before the Chargers or after the Chargers, one or the other. That's fair. I put them before. I, I honestly see this just because Justin Herbert's more dynamic than Derek Carr is. Just yeah, but I think I it. think I think uh, Devonte Adams the, and Hunter Renfro is better than Mike Williams and Keenan Allen. Ooh, okay. I don't know, but Austin Eckler is better than Josh Jacobs. Yeah, so this begs a question. I don't know. Uh, huh. They both have really solid DNs, too. We'll have both to come back to that. They, yeah, that's going to be a toss up. Yeah. Um, uh, Washington Redskins. They have a defense. Uh, the Commanders, sir. Oh. Uh, commanders. I keep messing that up. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because they use the old logo right here. Look, they still have the old logo. <laughs> oh, my God. Commanders, I could see them being a C tier somewhere in between. Yeah. Maybe because their defense, they're after the Bears. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I see it. I don't know. I, I like them there for now, I guess. Um, The Cardinals are A tier, and I'm putting them right here, right before, right after. Yeah. Green if Bay Cliff Bay. Kingsbury was a better coach, I'd put him higher, but yeah. he also just lost. Christian Kirk, Chandler Jones. Uh, they lost a couple other guys, too. I just can't think of them right now. Yeah. Uh, they lost Chandler Jones. They lost Christian Kirk. They lost... Uh, they lost uh, oh, Chase Edmonds. Corner, Chase Edmonds, too. Yeah, so... Um, the Buffalo Bills. I really put them above almost every team on this list. Um, I... I think Mm, I, I think I put them above think, the 49ers, but maybe they're S tier. I kind of want to put them in S tier. I put them S tier because of how good their defense is. They just got Von Miller. They didn't yeah. really lose anybody on offense or defense. Mm-hmm. I think I think they're S tier as well. That's what I was I was thinking about. I was like, I kind of want them S tier. Um, if you could only have okay, we'll finish the list. We'll finish the list. Okay. Seahawks. I think they're Seahawks. a D. You ooh, okay. Ooh. Right now, before the draft, I think yeah. they're a D. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll take that. Um, Jets, I think they're low C or middle C. I think. Uh, I think they're better than the Panthers. I don't know if they're better than the Giants. I think they are just because of their defense. Oh no, they and... saw, they did a really good in free agency. I mean, yeah. they just signed. They got Tyler Conklin, C.J. Uzuma. Um, they re-signed Bar- Barrios. What's his name? Um, Rexton Barrios. Yeah. Um, who else did they get? Um, they got they got some linemen. They got a defense. Yeah, they coach. did a lot of they did a lot of moves. Yeah. So I kind of want to put them over Washington, but I don't know if I see that. Um, and that's 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 about it. Yeah. And then we got the New England Patriots. I think they're B at the end, uh, B at, over the Saints. I think that's I don't know. That's fair. I think that's a decent spot for them. Um, yeah, if they get a true number one in the draft, I might go up a little bit, but we don't know what they're going to draft. They lost J.C. Jackson. They lost Kyle Van Noy. So, 
So I I think are we all set on the S tier? Like those three teams? My problem with S tier is I think there should only be two teams in S tier, one from each conference. The only thing Okay, but I don't know if I think okay, then Oh man. Uh, yeah, I think cuz they the Bucks defense, I would put them um either here or here in A tier. Top high A. And yeah, that's fair. I don't, I'm not sure. I think either way. I'm Tom sure Brady, I'll better. give the I'll give the nod to Tom Brady. So I'll okay. put them first. Okay. So yeah, we'll go to the S tier. I like the Rams and Bills there. Um, yeah, the Bills are a complete team, the Rams are a complete team. The Rams added Allen Robinson. Yeah. That's gonna be a good offense too. They just replaced Robert Woods. Um and I th- I like this here except I don't know. I Yeah, the AFC West bunch is gonna be the hard one to really judge. I think the Chiefs are the worst team in that division right now, so I'm okay with putting them last. I personally think we're giving a little too much credit to the Broncos at the moment. Ooh. Okay. I I know I just think... I wouldn't I I'm, wouldn't move them too far down. I I don't know I don't know if the Chargers are better than them. I think I know Justin Herbert's good, but he's not he's not experienced as Russell Wilson. Same with Derek Carr. I think Russell Wilson's better than Derek Carr. Um, but we can just Mitch Matz. I, I I would be okay with moving the Raiders up above the Chargers though. Um, that's one move I would make. Okay. Um, and. Look at that bottom tier. How good do you think the Browns' defense is going to be? I don't think it's going to be bad. I think it's going to be solid, like middle of the pack, kind of. Okay. I think that's a good setting point for A. Uh, What are you thinking for A tier? I would maybe move the Cardinals up one. That's exactly what I was thinking, but I don't think they have... I don't know. I don't know if their defense. You got to think. Tyler Murray still have D Hop. I do like. I do healthy. like Kyler over Deshaun, though. To be honest, so I'm okay with putting that there. Um, all right, Titans. It's, all brings it down to the coaching too, though. We'll yeah. see what happens this year, but um, and then B tier. I see the Ravens being better than the Vikings, honestly. But I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that's that, that's kind of iffy. I'm. I'm okay with it now. I'm fine with it now. It's just gonna be a toss up. And then I think we got those last four teams, right? The Steelers, Eagles, Patriots, Saints. Yeah, I definitely think the Saints are the worst team on that B tier list. Um, and then C tier. Uh, I I think I like that there. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, do you have anything on the B tier or C tier? Um. I personally think we need to swap Giants and the Seahawks. Ooh. Okay, I see. I see. They did get some couple of defensive pieces, which is oh, which is good. Um, okay, I think that might be that. That's that's a good that's a good move there, and I think that looks pretty damn good. Do we like the Panthers better than the Jets? Uh, I don't know. Without a quarterback? I don't know. Because if they just have Cam Newton back, I mean, I would not I would say no. Um, All right, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I like I think, it. I like it, yeah. I think, I think we did pretty good. Um... Only big question is Tua on that. Yeah, that's the big make or break because I could lower them or I could raise them. Because if Tua doesn't play well, he can go all the way down below the Steelers even yeah. or after the Ravens. So that's the only the only last big that, that that's the last thing I'm even thinking about right now is did we put the Dolphins too high in that B tier? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So this was our after the like what has it been two weeks of free agency? Um, so that's our after two weeks of free agency. 
really kind of the beginning of the offseason kind of tier list. Um, this is after the Russell Wilson trade, the Devontae Adams trade, the Tyree Kill trade, Matt Ryan trade, the Deshaun Watson trade, uh, Khalil Mack trade. Hey, I mean, there's Jackson, some. Uh, signing, AC everything. Jackson. Yeah, this was a very, very good offseason. Um, this is our tier list. Let us know what you guys think below. Let us know who you would change. Like I said, we're just two guys that watch football all the time. So you might not agree with it, but this is our tier list. You don't have to love it. You watched it. So now it's in your brain forever. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you guys think of the list, like Ian said. And make sure you put hit that bell so you know when brand new videos drop. And subscribe if you are new. We're gonna be doing NFL content all year long, and we're gonna start. We're gonna be having content for you guys every week. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you for watching the PI podcast. Make sure you subscribe and tune in next time so you don't miss the latest news in the NFL world. You can also follow us on TikTok at PI Podcast and on Twitter at PI Podcasters. Until next time.